So there's two ways to download and install a Cronus True Image 2018. As you can see here, I have downloaded the entire program. You can also download a little connector. You must be connected to the web at that point. And then what it'll do is it'll go ahead and download the latest version of the software as part of the install process. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and simply run this executable that I've downloaded from the web. Simply click install. And just be patient as it installs. Now I'll go ahead and pause the video while it continues to install. Once the install is complete, we just simply click start application. So this will go ahead and apply the user settings, allow us to read through the license agreement and click accept. We'll say okay. And it opens up the application. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip through this, but if you're new to Acronis, certainly go ahead and read about the features and functionalities. I'll be doing subsequent videos on how to do that. Now, I already have an Acronis account on this computer, so all I have to do is sign in. If you don't, go ahead and complete and accept the terms of use. So I'll go ahead and sign in to my account. So as you can see, previously on this computer, I had a backup to the cloud. Now, I don't back up my entire computer to the cloud, but what I wanna show you today is how easy it is to really just create a first backup. So I'm gonna add uh, a backup for this computer. I'm gonna call it full. I'm gonna back up the entire PC, which we can see is 167.8 gigs. And instead of backing it up to the cloud, which I don't wanna do, I'm gonna back it up to this drive right here. Now I have a solid state drive in place, but at this point, all I have to do is hit backup. So this is really how easy it is to protect your entire computer from losing any data. So I, I highly encourage you to just simply start here. Having a backup or multiple backups of, the, of an entire computer guarantees that you're going to be able to get back all of your data. So as you can see, this backup is running and I'm gonna go ahead and just let it run and I'll speed up the video so you can see it complete. So as you can see, in under 10 minutes, I was able to install the software that I had previously downloaded and run my first backup. Now, realistically, I'm doing this on a My Digital SSD. It's one of their older versions, but it is USB 3.0, and it is a solid state drive. But if you're doing it on a regular SATA drive, an external hard drive at USB 3.0, okay, so maybe it's gonna be 15 minutes. But still, that's a pretty short time to guarantee that you're going to be able to get back a single file that you might accidentally delete, get back your entire computer if you're affected by ransomware, or the computer fails, or of course, your computer gets stolen. You're gonna have all your backups, and I guarantee if we're talking about pictures of the kids, you are going to be a hero when you can restore those files. Until next time, take care.